excited. It's so nice to be here. I love being on stage. I did a lot of musical theater when I was in <laughs> high school and college, so my nickname was Faggot. <laughs> You're still laughing. You're perpetuating the hate crime, so that's on you. <laughs> People think I'm gay. All right, good reaction. Uh, <laughs> It's weird, right? Because once people think you're gay, there's no proving that you're straight, right? You know what I'm talking about, khakis, right? Like, <laughs> like if you walked in on me and I was just making out with a dude, you'd be like, he is definitely gay, and that's reasonable. <laughs> if you walk in on me, I'm making out with a woman, you'd be like, he's fooling himself, and that's... <laughs> Not that it doesn't have its advantages, though, you know what I mean? Like, nobody asked me to donate blood, so that's good. <laughs> HIV joke, high five, everybody. We did it. We did it. Actually, V is the Roman numeral four or five, so HIV is a high five if you pronounce it correctly. That's an ancient language joke. This comedy train is going express Atlanta. <laughs> I always wanted to be a comedian, but I didn't tell my parents I was gonna be a comedian until senior year of college. That's when I told my parents who were paying for college. I had to sit them down. I was like, mom, dad, I have something very important to tell you. This is very difficult. And they're like, you're gay. I was like, no, I wanna be a comedian. And they're like, we'd rather you be gay. Like, is that, is that still an option on the table? Cause we'll go to the break, we will go. <laughs> Dad has wings drying in the garage. <laughs> I, I live in New York now and we're crazy. I figured out why we're crazy. It's cause we use the subway as our primary mode of transportation. That'll drive any group of people crazy. Cause everywhere else, Atlanta, you get to use a car. That's good for your sanity. You can release emotions in a car. Right? Somebody cuts you off, you're like, fuck you, suck my dick. Sorry, Grandma, right? <laughs> you do that on a subway, you get arrested. <laughs> That's a hate crime. And there are so many things to make you angry in the subway. There are so many things. You're just sitting there, mind your own business, and some guy sitting next to his iPod so loud, you'd hear the music through his headphones. Well, I've been wearing headphones, but hear your fucking music. And it's some black guy, says it's a Michael Buble. That doesn't make any sense. There's a mariachi band playing on this side. Somebody's sermonizing about Jesus on this side. There's a guy standing in front of you holding a puppy, asking you for money. There's a baby skateboarding back and forth. There's a European couple finger banging. There's a rat covering graffiti. There's an Asian tourist group taking pictures of you like it's some weird human petting zoo. These weird posters have nothing to do with each other, right? It's like psych study, goat study, Dr. Zizmore, Ryan University, bed bugs, bed bugs, bed bugs, right? It's like drunk guy, homeless guy, dead guy, combination of all three. Sad clown, sad kids, dead bird. What the fuck is going on? You finally get your stop doors open. It's like saving private right. It's like D-Day, right? You will mow down the front line. Whatever case gets the fuck off the subway. You will stab a baby, whatever it takes. And the whole time, you're like, I love New York. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I like being in New York. I live in an apartment building. That's fun. I live in a studio apartment. I've never met my next door neighbor, you know, even though I know she's very loud during certain activities. I finally met her two weeks ago, though, in the elevator. And, you know, I was like, hey, how was your weekend? She's like, it was okay. I was like, it was more than fucking okay. <laughs> You came seven times. <laughs> you had an incredible weekend. <laughs> I've been keeping score. <laughs> oh, no, this is a dream, though. I've always wanted to perform, you know, in the, in the back room of a burger joint. I... <laughs> My real dream was to be on The Price is Right, but I could never be on The Price is Right because I'm Jewish. I'd be too frustrated. <laughs> I think in my mind, the host would be like, how much is that chair? I'd be like, I don't know, $40. He'd be like, actual retail value, $80. I'd be like, fuck you. I have a coupon. <laughs> the guy's been great. My name is Harrison Draymond. Thanks so much, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>